started this award um, soon after Troy Pat has passed away. Um, one of the things about having an award like this is that there's going to come a day where people are going to say, "Who is Troy Pappas? Who is Bud Williams? Who, you know, who is this person?" Um, and we knew it would come, and I think we're, we're, we're fast approaching that. Troy Pappas um, really changed his community. Troy is like any one of you. He was a middle school student. You know, he horsed around in the hallways, you know, loved school dances, loved to hang out with his buddies, you know, put off doing his homework to the last minute, found a way to kind of get things done, and always had a smile on his face. You know, uh, one of the ceremonies that I brought with me when I became football coach here was the burning of the shoe. And that, for me, is one of the most important experiences that you'll have as a young person. Um, and what that really is about is about something greater than yourself, which is being part of a program. Um, and I'll never forget Troy Knight burning the shoe and talking about his experience. And Troy was not the best football player at Marshall, um, but Troy was one of the best people that you'll ever meet. And he had a conversation, and he shared his experience and his frustration because he wishes he could do more to help the team. And at that time, his class had just had some stuff go on where they weren't necessarily getting along great. Middle school can be a tough time. You know, and I remember seeing the seven or eight people around the circle uh, that he was talking to. And there was some tension there, it was girl stuff, it was, you know, this one's going to pick on that one, this one's going to make fun of that one, and it was kind of typical middle school stuff. Five years later, you know, when Troy was a freshman at Bates College, had left Marshwood, had a great career at Marshwood, was number two in his class, went to Bates College, you know, really was looking forward to being a doctor. He uh, made a mistake one night. Um, bottom line is he was excited, Bates had just had a big win against Tufts University, Troy was excited, he hopped on a railing to slide down the railing and fell off the railing and, and ended up dying. You know, uh, it was those same kids that burned the shoe that were there in the hospital with him waiting, making sure he knew he wasn't alone. Troy is the person who changed the people around him. You know, some of you might see the Pappy's Pride t-shirts that are on, that's all about Troy Pappy. Some of you might see the t-shirts with the number seven on the back of them. You know, that's about Troy Pappas. And so we give this award, it's special. You know, it's for someone who goes above and beyond themselves, someone who really thinks about the bigger picture, someone who can change those around them. Let's do the right thing, not always the easy thing. Um, and I, you know, Sean asked me if I'd be willing to come and speak about Troy. You know, obviously, um, Troy's like a son to me. I, I get emotional talking about him now. Um, both my boys love him dearly. Um, you know, I have pictures of him hanging up in my house. I, I spend time with, with his mother and father. You know, on a regular basis, you know, um, just important, important people in this community. But more importantly, Troy can change who we are as people. And Troy was one of those people for me. He made me a better coach. He made me a better father. You know, so to give this award to me, it's really special. It's really important. And it goes beyond just someone who, you know, might have made a tackle in the game. Because I, I hate to break it to everybody. I love football. I devoted my life to football. My boys play football. It, but it's about football teaches you life skills and how to be good human beings when you get older. How do you get up when you have to go to work and you don't want to go? You, know, you want to lie in bed and say, you know what, this sucks. I don't want to do this anymore. You know, I don't want to do my homework. How do you find that strength to do that? And Troy was one of those people who could always do that. And so to get this award today, I could not be more proud. Um, I got some background information from my wife. Um, I talked to Coach Casey a little bit, but I wanted to recognize Jack McManus. Yes, yes!